This is 10 Questions for Time Magazine. I'm Tim Morrison, and I'm here with Van Morrison. These are questions written from Time Magazine readers and your fans. Uh, yeah. And the first one we have is from Laura Miller in San Diego, California. Uh, Lori writes, people have been waiting a lifetime to hear you perform Astral Weeks live. Uh, why did you decide to finally do it? There's dozens of reasons, but the main reason is uh, I, don't, I don't own the original record. That's one reason. <laughs> the other reason is I've done the full orchestration live because then it got kind of buried. Sure. So, and another reason is the songs are fresh because I, they haven't been performed that much. It's a completely different take on it and it's a completely different take on the songs. And the songs have grown and expanded into something else from the original. So it's not like redoing the original. It's, it's a completely different ball game. <laughs> We had um, a few questions about sort of more of your back catalog and stuff that's not sort of available. I mean, is there any plans to release more of that or make it? There's no plans right at the minute. It's just a minute. It's one one project at a time yeah. because uh, you know we we don't know where the record business is going, and you know they keep saying it themselves. The record companies saying we we don't know what's happening, and it's really bad for the record business. So if it's really bad, why would you want to do you know business deal with a record company if they're mm -hmm. telling you it's really bad? Well, that's a, actually a question from um, another one of our readers, a uh, fan of yours named Gerald Whalen uh, mm -hmm. in Westminster, Colorado, wants to know, you know, are albums and CDs still relevant? They're still relevant to me because I'm not a download artist. Uh, download mm -hmm. is a very, very small percentage of, of what the, the people that want my product. It's a very small percentage, so it's mainly CDs mm -hmm. and some vinyl. I'm not a download act. I think some stuff is, is went with, uh, I can't forget what it is, maybe iTunes? I think there's some stuff with iTunes, sure, but iTunes. That's, that contract's going to run out very soon, and I don't plan on renewing it, renewing it. Well, for your own, I mean, f for the stuff that you listen to yourself, are you buying albums and CDs? Uh, and have you heard anything good recently? Mm, well, I, I just, I just kind of go back, I just listen to this, the stuff that, you know, got me into it in the first place, you know, jazz, some blues, and... Uh, you know, just stuff that got me into it when I first started. I go back to that. Mm. Um, no, there's nothing new, no. In terms of uh, performing live, what are your favorite and least favorite parts of it? Well, the uh, so, favorite type of audiences can follow me when I'm stretching out. That's the interesting thing about this live recording. And it's actually, you can hear it actually on the recording where the audience is following me. So if they f can follow where I'm going, I can open up, stretch out more. So the favorite, that would be my favorite type of audience. Just moving back to something you said earlier about, you know, playing your favorite, you playing your, your, your greatest hits to the songs that everybody you know, seems to know. I mean, did you think when you were writing them that Moon Dance or Brown Eyed Girl would still be on the radio now? No, and, and Brown Eyed Girl I, did, I didn't do for a long time because and, and to me it was like a throwaway song. Yeah. It was a throwaway. And uh, then uh, Sony Records, I guess, bought it. So I didn't have anything to do with that. Um, they bought it and they started to promote it. But, you know, not because I like it, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but because it's just been promoted as the most, it's been the most promoted track, so that's what, sure. that's what gets played and that's what people relate to. It's uh, not one of my best, I mean, I've got about 300 other songs that I think are better than that, so. Terry Arborough in Birmingham, Alabama writes, uh, everyone knows you were greatly influenced by American blues greats, uh, Muddy Waters, John Lee Hooker. Uh, are there any musicians or groups today that really excite you? No. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> no. Nothing? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, because I think it's, it's all been done, it's all been done. Tim McElmore actually in Atlanta, Georgia writes, uh, how different do you think you are today as a musician um, compared to uh, where you were 40 years ago? You know, I, I, I just be, was, you know, living it moment to moment, art to art, day by day, year by year. So I've probably got more experience at it and probably I'm, I'm better at it than when I started. I'm better at it. 
Um, but in a lot of ways, that's harder when you're better at it. You know. One thing, I mean, looking back now that you are have more experience and you're better at it, is there anything you would have done differently, musically or career-wise? Um, yeah, I, I, if I hadn't known what I know now, I wouldn't have become famous for one thing. <laughs> then, uh, when I when I was starting, I you, there, was, there wasn't any choices, right? You know, there's a thing about people that write about music that you know they don't really know anything about it, and they assume a lot of stuff. Like they assume that you had choices and you were like that you thought it out and all that. I, you know, so I didn't I didn't really have any choices, and I get put in situations where. I get ripped off, you know, time and time and time and time again, ad nauseum. So then I had to become um, something I didn't want to be just to make a living. I, I did say that was my last question, but I do have one more based on what okay. you said. Uh, Mark Cotney in Athens um, says, being famous is hard for many people, uh, but you seem to handle it well. What's your secret? Well, the key word there is seem. <laughs> you know? It's not what it seems. Yeah. Yeah. It's not what it seems.